Hey everybody, Goldie here, taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions. And if you missed the official reveal stream, I had the immense pleasure of doing this blog reveal. Um, June is LGBTQ Pride Month. I am um, a member of that community, not an ally, but a, a practicing member, if you want to <laughs> put it in that term. Um, and Pat Patterson, one of um, the few, unfortunately not out at the time of wrestling came out much later after his retirement but one of the few gay wrestlers in wwe um so getting pat patterson to kick off pride month big fan not gonna hear any complaints from me uh the only complaint is like this is a hybrid between jbl and acro jericho but otherwise um, he is an aggressive legends era technician trainer ability he completes the rainbow of move damage trainers blue moves that deal damage will deal 100 percent more damage and blue moves start with two more move points links the corporation takes 60 percent less damage from yellow moves legends era gems do 10 percent more damage and just the one standard set of gear a uh, couple different builds we're going to take a look at the first one is going to be move damage focused and then we will be switching to gem damage we are running triple green available at five star uh, the finisher is the corner catapult 10 mp deal 500,537 damage choose two columns to destroy and pin the opponent green two the back body drop 6 mp deal 161,892 damage and choose a one by five aria he is from montreal um, to swap into green gems and the corner whip clothesline 6 MP deal 181,755 damage and increase the damage of all your gems by 200% for one turn. Does not affect bonus damage. Entourage for this, I have max tour perks, so we're just going all out. Um, Bailey for 100% and 2 MP. You could use Gable for 150 on the finisher. I'm going to use Owens um, for 45% to all of the moves. If you have Striker Rocky built up, he is 50% to any color moves. Um, Gooker for 25%. Arch Ruth for 25%. Half takedown, half takedown twos. I do have the 200% green. Uh, chic plate, whenever you activate a green move, increase your green move damage by 100% for two turns. Um, so 281.66% substats with the belt, um, the 100% added from the chic plate. And uh, we have four minutes until this tour goes away. Uh, the Rock has 16 million health. Let's see how much of that we can chip away at. I'm so happy we got Pat in game. I'm so happy. Uh, so before our plate starts triggering, finisher is doing 2.79, back body drop doing 904, corner whip doing one mil. Uh, 16 mil health is a nice round number, so we'll just see how much health he has left after all of this. Um, just a one by five to swap. No cascade, you love to see it. Um, you will need an MP charge in feuds, um, and I guess the green one is paywalled, so you would need NWO Hogan. No Cascade. There's a crit, we'll count it. I'm not going to bother placing that. Just want to get the move damage going. 5.79 damage. Choose two columns to destroy. This is where you would take some green gems. And uh, that is 15.8 million damage on turn one. Suck it, Benny. Uh, what? Anyways. That's the takedown build. Let's switch focus to gem damage. 
Next build we're going to take a look at is available at six star. We are running triple black and no drip plate as evidenced by the no drip logo next to my logo. Uh, so black one, figure four leg lock, six MP. They literally every single move except the finisher is six MP. So that opens up a lot of possibilities here. Um, submission, generate 36 random submission gems and do 153,400 damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into row break gems. Uh, black 2, the headbutt, 6 MP, deal 160,796 damage and choose seven gems to destroy. Anytime you have a choose destroy, again, opens up a world of possibilities, especially with it being, um, fairly low charge. And black three, the six star move, and that explains the faction boss. Six MP, atomic drop, deal 166,975 damage, plus 34,233 bonus damage for every row break gem. Entourage for this, woods for black MP. We're going with slick rick here. However, however... Um, there has been a new trainer ability added, and I'm never going to find him if I don't sort by legend. There's the legend. They are continuing with the trend of giving older characters um, 26k training abilities. Um, so n it used to be just up to 5k of two row breaks, 9k it's three, 15k it's four, and at 26k row break gems do 50% more damage. That is the original Trickster Sarge. Um, so if you have him at 26k for Mr. Patterson here, that would make that move even stronger. Alas, I've asked for it. I have not received it. Therefore, we are not using it. Um, we're going to use Slick Rick for 50, uh, not 50, for 20% more gem damage. Um, I guess Tech Rocky, the really, really paywalled one, um, is 50% more damage to all gems. Use that if you have him. Uh, Striker Bianca, 25% more row break damage. Zombie Foley, 50%. I don't have him maxed out. He would give you 100. Um, and basically, hit the sub, bonus damage, board go boom, lather, rinse, repeat. Um, for the belt, we are going Fury 2s and the Ronda's Jacket Plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. I'm also going to run this build afterwards with the um, the Hulkamaniac Plate. Whenever you destroy 20 or more gems, um, increase your black move damage by 300%. And I do have a, a tier 5 black percent in Fury, so I am curious to see how that would work as well. I feel like that would stack quite well. Uh, but for starters, let's take a look at the Ronda jacket. Okay, so move, yeah, move damage about 400k. So I feel like the Hogan plate would stack quite nicely. Let's go ahead and start positioning ourselves to blow up the board. So just about 60k per row break. 1.25 mil. We did have the subplay for yellow and black, so 37 and 43. Yellow and black being his secondary and um, tertiary color as well. So that is helpful. Board go boom, 1.5 mil. And then do it again. Yeah, we're still stacked there. So if he doesn't pin us, we should get two stacks of this. Looks like Andy's going to let us blow up the entire board. Things you love to see. Uh, 50k on the yellow, 58 on the black gems. Again, get some bonus damage. About 1.5 mil. And then just choose destroy, take all the row breaks. 
Acceptable. Acceptable. Would probably run this um, without this damage per row break and bring in the increase all of your gem damage move. But again, I do want to run this with the Hogan plate and then we'll switch it up and take that six star move out. So let's go toss that plate on. All right, so running this back, we are using the Hulkamaniac plate. Whenever you break 20 or more gems, increase your red gem damage and your black gem, uh, black move damage, pardon me. Uh, red gems, 200% for two turns. Black moves, 300% for two turns. And uh, about 400k-ish here. Probably be more inclined to do um, a takedown build with this. But just wanted to see kind of baseline how this would look. So get your bonus damage. Blow up as much of the board as possible. One, two, three, four, five rows. Take some black gems. And now we should be stacked for the next turn. So 900k, 874. Yeah, take down twos. I think that will definitely um, be worth a look if you have an extra Hulkamaniac plate to, to spare. So there's a crit. 874. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get the entire board. One, yeah, that's definitely viable. Not sure if it's my favorite, but definitely viable. All right, let's switch things up and bring in the uh, gem damage boost. So we're going to take out the six star move. We're going to bring in the five star move, the corner whip. Um, keeping with Woods and Slick Rick. And we're using the Rhonda's jacket plate for yellow and black. So Hall of Fame Snoop for red and blue. Showboat Lacey for purple and green. We get a boost to all of our colors this way. Of course, if you have Hall of Fame Hogan, Santa Hogan, they boost all of your gem damage. Um, use those if you have them. But I figured... A little bit of everything here. So yeah, 39, 25, 28, 26, 17, 17. So even our lowest colors are doing 17k at least. So, uh, and mm, Max Torpricks, I probably should have gone NWO Ted. Chances are you'll need to double MP this in a feud though. So take out Slick Rick, put in Steel. I am just going to take a swipe. And we'll just pretend that turn never happened. There we go. Turn one. We rolling. Let's use in the old brain. Alternatively, you could use co-owner Flare. Um, he will reduce the black submission turns. Base, it's a four-turn sub, so you still get... You know, the two ticks of the MP drained. Um, so 39, 37, 43. Yeah, and then we're going to go corner whip. And now that we have a Fury Belt, unlike the, the blog reveal stream that I did where I went, oh, I don't have metal bits. I guess we're doing takedown. Uh, we have Fury 2s now. So 119, 113, 130, 80. 52, 53. So 52k is our lowest gem, and we have row breaks everywhere, so the entire board is going bye-bye here.
things you love to see. 5.2, of course, six star bronze will no sell it every freaking time, but fully recharged all of our moves. That's the, the beauty of six MP. And don't have to worry about getting pinned there. This is only a one turn stack. We do, however, still have the stack from the Ronda plate. So now that's 150, 174. And we're gonna get six rows entirely. And we'll take the yellow because that's more damage. But the first one was 5.2. This should be a full drain here. Or not. We were so close, uh, but we still kept them down. So yeah, that's that's a fairly decent chunk of damage. You're reducing their MP enough. You're recycling low charge moves. Um, let's go ahead and uh, turn on the yes drip light. And see what we can cook up with that. So now let's test out a potential drip plate build and. Um, on the blog reveal stream the other night, we tried triple black and found that all the random um, submission gems from the black submission, you were really fighting for board space. So what I'm going to do here is bring in the other submission, yellow one, which is a sleeper hold, 6 MP color submission. Choose 9 gems to make into black submission gems. And do 171,447 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into row breaks. We're going to run that with the atomic drop, not necessarily for the damage per row break, but to trigger the drip plate and the headbutt, choose destroy, pick off the row breaks as we have them. Entourage for this, Kofi for yellow MP, bringing in Umanga for 50% more damage to yellow submission moves, and he will apply to the drip plate, so we're getting multiply gems of strength 8, Showboat Miz for multiply gem damage, Santa Hogan for all gem damage, sticking with the Fury 2s, and whenever you activate a black move, make 7 random gems into multiply gems of strength 7. Stay dripping. So we only need to make one match here. It's going to be a bit of an ask to keep our gems up here. Uh, let's just go there. If you feel like the board has too many black gems on it and you find you're not sure where to place them, don't feel like you have to place every single gem. At least he gave us the bottom three rows. Uh, so bonus damage per, and again, just to trigger the plate. Naturally, we got one down here, and it's a loot box. Um, choose seven gems to destroy. One, two, three. Take the yellow and black, and uh, yeah, let's take blue. Why not? So a measly 1.7 measly uh, but now we don't need to make matches with this we can just start scattering them around we should get a better amount of multiplied gems on the board here One, two, three. We got four rows. So I'll just take the rest of the multiplies. 2.2. So probably not a character you want to use a drip plate on. We were getting much better results um, with the other build with the, um, the gem damage boost. Not everything needs a drip plate and that is a good thing because emotional damage. That's kind of nice. And we don't have to worry about losing any of them. Things you love to see.
And then pick off the row breaks. One, two, three, four, five. Take a green and a black. Just over two and a half mil. So we tried it, we saw it, we can say we did it. But uh, we're gonna flip on the no drip light. Not, not somebody I would be using that on. Um, one more build I would like to take a look at. Let's go set it up. All right, so the last build I want to take a look at is Super Sub, because why not? I do want to note there is a move we did not look at. Doesn't happen often, but Yellow 2, Rapid Strikes, 6 MP, deal 171,537 damage and increase your green MP by 9. Um, you could run that, well, I'm going to say any of the green moves, and a shock the system plate whenever you break green, get yellow. Um, I didn't see it fitting into what I was doing today, but not a preview if you don't at least talk about all the moves. That is a move. All right. So we're doing the sleeper hold. We're doing the figure four leg lock and we're doing the choose destroy. And we are just going to swipe for a match and get going here. Zombie Kevin Owens, three more turns, 20% more damage to black gems. Zombie AJ, three more turns. Tech Drew, 50% and one more turn. Rocky Johnson, 50% and one more turn. So our yellow submission is doing 257,171 damage for seven turns. Our black submission is doing 230,100 damage for eight turns. For the belt, I don't have a plate on, but I see this being a defensive nuisance. So escape artist, head games, cheap shot. I don't really need an MP plate here. Um, yeah, just sub-a-dub-dub. And for some reason, this warrior isn't running the 1 MP moves, so I have the luxury of taking a swipe. Yay. And, oh, okay, pardon me. Sorry, warrior. Um, don't even need to make a black match here. So that's going to be 1.5-ish, 1.6 mil with all those turns. Hit the figure four. One point seven, one point eight, just about. So all the MP is gone. They almost gave us the entire board, too, to destroy, which is nice. I'm gonna load everything back up. 1.4 on the destroy. If you want to use this on defense, like, I still have my Fury 2 medals on. You could, um, if you want to be that person, do padded medals or vitality. Anything that just says F you. I'm not using this character <laughs> offensively. Um, defensive build, man. Have fun with it. You could even do the old, if you have an ultimate strap, um, the dead man sigil plate and the veer plate to just drain their MP further if you want to really annoy them. Because the sub will make your X breaks. So that could be, you didn't hear it from me though. You didn't hear it from me, but sigil plate and, and veer ultimate. You didn't hear it from me. Yeah, it's got 2.3, so let's see how much it's got left after this. Not a lot. Things you love to see, and I'm not even going to bother with the other submission. 
Thank you for running Warrior Triple Purple on the limited time tour. We have rendered him useless. What a rush. Or whatever. It's the other one. I don't I don't care. Anyways, let's wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Pat Patterson, the blonde bomber. Again, he is an aggressive Legends era technician. Trainer ability completing the rainbow of move damage trainers. Blue moves that start uh, deal damage. Blue moves that start damage. Well, I guess it's kind of true. Uh, blue moves that deal damage will deal 100% more damage. Blue moves start with two more move points. He has a corporation link. Takes 60% less damage from yellow moves. Legends era gems do 10% more damage. So easily the best corporation character. Sako's had his day. Kane, I guess, is fun with a Titan plate and gear. Um, Shane O'Mac, y'all sleeping on him. But, oh, I guess Trick Vince exists. Well, he doesn't exist. Like, three people have him. Um, just the one standard set of gear. In terms of a trainer, oh boy, who would benefit from this? Who would benefit from this? Apollo Creed, Judgment Day Dom. Maybe Icon Charlotte? Maybe Icon Charlotte? I may have to to do some testing with her to see um, what that gets up to for her because she doesn't benefit from the blue finisher trainer for that build. But anyways, that's Pat Patterson. Um, let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Again, really, really neat that we're getting Pat Patterson to kick off Pride Month. Not going to turn this into a political debate or a liberal agenda pushing whatever you think I'm doing here because that's not what I'm doing. But as um, as the only content creator that is um, part of the LGBTQ community, um, again, it was an absolute honor to be able to announce Pat Patterson getting a first character and a lot of firsts for him. Inventor of the Royal Rumble, the first ever intercontinental champion. Um, just it's about time he got a character in the game and he got a good one. I really enjoy playing him. Lots of different builds depending on what you have available to you on your roster. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. How would you run him? Any other, you know, what's your favorite Pat Patterson moment? I know a lot of people will bring up the who did he beat um, for the women's title and maybe we get the Briscoes later down the line, but Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. And thank you for being a friend. And thank you for listening to my yawning.